Hey guys, Ryan Burke here with Rode at NAB 2023 in Las Vegas. And we've just done one of the biggest product announcements that we've ever had before. Um, and I'm gonna take you through all of the different announcements and products that we have here. Starting with the very recently released Wireless Me and Rode Capture app. So I'm gonna show you here some really cool things with the Rode Capture app that not a lot of people know. Now, if you're on um, iOS, so if you have an iPhone or something like that, jump on the App Store and download Road Capture. It's totally free and it allows you to record some really cool things. First of all, you can do dual camera capture. So you can capture picture in picture where you can adjust the position of um, the frame wherever you like in your picture in picture. You can do side by side split view or even if you're shooting in vertical, you can do it like this. You can also opt to combine or separate the videos. Now, if you choose separate videos, you will get the full 16 by nine frame on two separate tracks, like completely separate videos that are perfectly synced for post-production. <laughs> now, what's really cool about this is it gives you complete control over your audio. So I have right here, I've got a wireless me set where we have the uh, gain assist functionality that you can see right here on screen. So um, one of the really cool things about the wireless me, you have a me mic on the receiver that will automatically turn on whenever you hit your selfie camera. You also have a microphone on the transmitter and you can plug a lav in. Now, if you have a look in the capture app, it gives you control over the gain assist modes. Now, gain assist is an intelligent gain adjustment algorithm that means that you can record and your levels will always be perfect. So if I set up my gain assist to be dynamic, you can see here that no matter how loud I talk, I'm gonna step back and just talk really, really loud. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, and then I can talk really, really quietly. And the level will always be at the perfect level, no matter what you do. You can choose to have your channels merged or split as separate channels left and right. Um, and it just makes creating content actually quite unique, having that front and back camera functionality and really, really easy. So check out the Wireless Me, which is about definitely try it out. Yeah, there we go. So this is the transmitter, that's the receiver. And right there, you can see the Me mic in the content. All right, next up, I have a really exciting update for the podcasters, the live streamers, and the gamers out there. This is called the Roadcaster Duo. So if you come on over here, I'll show you. This is a compact version of the Roadcaster Pro 2. It has the same powerful processor and digital functionality in a more compact form factor. So where the Roadcaster Pro 2 has four uh, microphone ins and, uh, and headphones, you've got two channels of combo jack XLR in, um, where you can run mic line or instrument with the Revolution Pre, and you also have two headphone outputs. But you also, on the front here, have a new feature, which is a TRS, uh, TRRS, I should say, head, uh, headset socket, so that you can plug in headphones just like the NTH100Ms or any other gaming style headset that you might have, and bring it in as its own separate channel. Now, if for those not familiar with the Roadcaster series, this is absolutely the, the gold standard when it comes to a um, content creation console for podcasting and, and production. Um, you can simply go into your settings and set up microphones. You've got complete control over your audio effects, which is really, really handy. Um, you've got smart pads on the side here where you can set them up to be um, sound effects, voice effects, mixer actions, even MIDI triggers to control software like OBS. It is absolutely uh, a breeze to use. And to start a podcast, all you need to do is turn up the levels, connect your microphones, and hit the record button. Just like that, we're recording a podcast right now. So very nice. Now, something else we debuted with the Roadcaster Duo is wireless connectivity on the unit itself. So if you have a look, I can get a wireless transmitter, and I can actually hook it up directly onto one of the channels of the Roadcaster Duo. Now this operates really simply to pair a new device. I'll actually show you the whole pairing functionality. I'm gonna grab a Wireless Go 2 here and you'll see just how easy it is to actually pair a system. Now, we'll get to this one later. This is our new charging case for the Wireless Go 2, but I'm gonna turn on a unit here and we're gonna pair it up to the Roadcaster Pro. So. You can see here I have a Wireless Go 2. It's not paired to anything, it's flashing. So I say pair new device. It's searching on the Roadcaster Duo. I tap the button and straight away we're paired up. Now you can see here I've got battery and link status. Now what's really exciting about this is that anybody out there that has a Roadcaster Pro 2 
Well, I have good news for you. You also have wireless connectivity on your Rodecaster Pro 2 that just hasn't been unlocked yet until today. So if you jump on the Rode website and download the latest firmware update, you will be able to update the firmware on your Rodecaster Pro for free to unlock Rode Series 4 wireless receivers. There are two receivers in every Rodecaster Pro 2 that you can then hook up wireless Go to's or wireless me's directly to your unit. That's really handy for those who want to set up a more casual podcast. If you want to be able to have a couple of people sitting on a couch without microphones right up in their face, you can have a, a bit of a more casual setup rather than the traditional microphone straight up. While we're talking about podcasting and streaming, I've got to show you the Streamer X. Now, the Streamer X is the very first complete capture card. Um, audio interface and smart trigger solution on the market. Now this captures 4K video, it'll capture 4K 30 and pass through 4K 60. Um, it is a complete professional audio interface solution and you can use the smart pads just like on a Rodecaster Pro 2 or a Rodecaster Duo to trigger sounds if you have music or anything loaded, voice effects so that you can affect your voice coming in. You can even set up to trigger keyboard shortcuts to advance slides on a presentation or anything like that. Now the audio inputs are really awesome. You have the ability to connect via a combo jack input. Um, I have another unit here that I can show you on the back. So you can connect an XLR or an instrument source. You can plug in a headset right here on the side. You can even connect two separate computers to the unit. One of them will be dedicated for um, an extra two channels of audio. The other one is your multi-track audio plus your video feed plus your HDMI audio. Now, if you have a look at the main unit, you can simply switch between those inputs from your um, combo jack input to your headset input for your audio and in and out, or even a wireless transmitter. So again, you can hook up a wireless me or a wireless go to directly to the Streamer X, and that is really awesome for anyone who's doing uh, any kind of content where they might be presenting to camera, and they want to be able to have their laptop or their computer next to them with complete control. You can control whether your microphone is live or your video is live just with these simple mute buttons on the front of the unit, so I can bring in and out the video. And if I duck down here into um, this, camera feed, um, you can see that I have a GH5 on the table here going straight into OBS right now. And on OBS I can bring in the HDMI feed, I can bring in the mic input, I can bring in um, even the HDMI audio separate, great for the gamers out there that want to be able to capture game audio. And then I can simply kill the video just by pressing that button if I want, or I can bring it back in. And again, whether you're using this for live streaming games, whether you're doing presentations to camera, or whether you're just looking to really elevate your Zoom setup to have a really nice camera, some lighting, and great audio, this is really the best solution for that. Next, we have the PodMic USB. So I'm sure most people are familiar with the PodMic. You see it on almost every podcast that you're watching. Um, the, the PodMic is a dynamic microphone that's designed for voice applications, nice and close, and is perfect for podcasting and broadcast and radio. What we've done with the PodMic USB is we've retained the XLR connectivity. So you can still plug your PodMic USB directly into your Rodecaster Pro, Rodecaster Duo, or audio interface, um, but you also have USB output now as well. What's really amazing about this is that when you use the USB output, you access the onboard digital signal processing so that you have access to things like the DSR, the noise gate, the compressor, um, the Aphex um, oral exciter and big bottom processing. So essentially you have like a single channel roadcaster in one unit here to connect it up to your computer to be able to um, get really great audio even just as a single channel. Now something that makes it really cool is the fact that you can get a Rode SC19 cable which is our USB to Lightning, and this is actually MFI compatible, meaning made for iPhone compatible. So you can plug it into any Mac or PC, you can plug it into any Android device, but unlike most microphones out there in the market, you can also plug this PodMic USB straight into your iPhone and create content. So whether you're using the internal camera app, road capture, um, TikTok, anything like that, you can now use a PodMic, probably a PSA One Plus or a nice arm, and create really cool podcast style content as a solo creator. Now, I did promise to get back onto the 
Wireless Go 2 and some of the advancements that we go to charging case. So we've got a lot of people out there who have requested a charging case for their Wireless Go 2. We didn't want to just make another charging case. We wanted a charging case that could also protect your gear. We know that the Wireless Go 2s are used in some pretty run and gun environments um, and we wanted a case that was just as solid as the Wireless Go 2s are themselves. So when you pop them in there you can get up to full uh, three full recharges of the units with the internal battery and then you can zip it up and keep them really nice and solid and secure. You can recharge the unit with a single USB-C on the back. And while I'm on the topic of Wireless Go 2, I'm going to show another really cool feature to all of the Wireless Go 2 users out there. Now, we've had a lot of requests for the ability to have push-button recording on the Wireless Go 2, and that's exactly what we've done with a free firmware update that you can download from the Rode website. So if you press the button on the Wireless Go 2, we can now set it up to start or stop recording. So I was recording and I've just stopped my recording there. If I press it again, you will see that the, dim, the LEDs will go dim to bright. That means that I'm now recording a WAV file. Now it doesn't stop there, what we also have is the ability now to um, directly connect your USB-C straight into your computer and the Wireless Go 2 will now show up as a standard um, uh, hard drive. So you can just drag WAV files straight off the Wireless Go 2 rather than having to use Rode Central to be able to export your files. You can still use Rode Central which is a really amazing tool for being able to set the right um, you know, sections of your audio you want to export and process it differently but for those that are in fast run and gun applications where they really need to just grab their, their audio off their Wireless Go 2s, now you have push button recording and the ability to just directly transfer WAV files from your, com your, your Wireless Go 2 straight to your computer without any other software. Now. Last but not least, I have another update for the Rodecaster customers out there and users. Everything from Rodecaster Pro 1 through to Rodecaster Pro 2. Now there are a lot of really cool camera bags out there um, for the camera industry, but us audio guys have always been left behind. We never have cool bags to keep our kit, but now we have a dedicated podcasting backpack here. So you can keep a Rodecaster Pro 2, you can readjust it for a Rodecaster Pro 1 or even the Rodecaster Duo. You can keep all of your power supply, XLR cables and everything right in here. You have the ability to run power through um, from a power bank into your Rodecaster even if you just want to run the podcast out of the bag. On the front, we have dedicated pockets for microphones. So you can stash four pod mics or any other microphone that you like in there. You even have a little pocket here for an air tag or a tile tracker or something like that so that you can keep tabs on where your kit is at all times. You've got the ability to attach your keys as well. We have a bunch of little um, attachments on the front so you can hook up XLR cables or extra bits and pieces. And then on the back of the unit, we also have of course, a laptop and notebook compartment that you can pop your um, So the laptop, you'll be able to fit um, easily, you know, even a 16-inch MacBook Pro or anything like that. So we've got two different pockets. You can fit an A4 notebook or something there, but you can see the full depth of the bag. You can fit a massive, you know, kind of setup in here. Now, on the sides of the bag, we also have the ability to pop in your PSA 1s or PSA 1 Pluses. This is the ability to actually open it up, pop your arms in there and then you can keep them nice and closed with the little strap so you can literally have a full four person podcast rig um, in one setup here to be able to you know keep your kit all together bring it to shows and I understand that a lot of people out there who are podcasting are quite often having to be mobile so now we have the one solution where you can keep your gear safe and secure and portable and of course it's very comfortable it's made from Alcantara and ballistic nylon and really high quality materials that are going to uh, last as long as your um, overall podcasting rig. And before we wrap up, one final thing I want to talk about is the NT1 fifth generation. Now this microphone came out very recently and is the world's first 32-bit floating point microphone and it has a really cool trick up its sleeve. So the NT1A and NT1 series have been around for a long time and we're up to the fifth generation of that microphone. Uh, it's probably the most popular studio condenser mic in the entire world um, and it's been seen on, and heard on recordings you know, for, for, for decades. But if you have a look at the base of the NT1 fifth generation, you can see that we actually have a USB-C port on the inside of the XLR. This is the Rode Dual Connect setup, I'm not sure if you can see that there. But what that does is it enables you to not only use it as a traditional um, studio microphone straight into your computer, but you also have the option to plug it in directly um, digitally via USB-C to your computer and that unlocks the 32-bit flow capability. It is a full audio interface internal and it means that you essentially 
can forget about ever setting your levels again. All you have to do is put the microphone in front of what your source is, whether you're a voiceover artist, a musician, um, a podcast or anything else, you can simply hit record when you're running 32 bit float and adjust your levels in post production. It's not just about not clipping your audio, it's also about having audio that the noise floor is in incredibly low. Now with the NT1 fifth generation, it is the world's quietest studio condenser mic with only 4 dBA of self noise and you can um, handle extremely high SPL with this microphone without clipping. So it's pretty amazing. It's a game changer in the studio mic space. We've basically deleted the gain knob for most recording workflows. So there you have it guys. I'm Ryan here with Rode Microphones at NAB 2023. I hope you found that interesting.